if x plus a squared is a factor of the following, where a and b are non-constants, non-zero constants, find the possible values for a and b. Uh, the key word here is the factor, and we know a factor is when a number divides into another number. So 2 is a factor of 12 because we have a remainder of 0. So that's the approach we're going to have here. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide x plus a all to be squared into our 10x cubed plus 21ax squared plus 20abx plus 25a. So that's the aim here and we should get a remainder of zero. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to deal with this x plus a all to be squared. So I'm going to square that out and a square means you multiply it by itself. So it's x plus a by x plus a. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to take the first term multiplied by the second bracket, second term multiplied by the second bracket. Multiplying in my brackets then, I'm getting x squared plus ax plus ax plus a squared. So that's giving me a final expression of x squared and I have 2ax squared plus a squared. So that's my expression when I multiply out the square. Now I'm actually going to come back and divide that in. So I'm dividing now x squared plus 2ax plus a squared into my 10x cubed. twenty five a and I'm going to use my long division. So let's get started. x squared divides into ten x cubed ten x times. So that's my first step. and I'm now going to multiply that back down. So ten x multiplied by x squared is ten x cubed and ten x multiplied by two a x is a positive twenty a x squared. and then ten x multiplied by a squared is plus uh, ten a squared x. I'm going to change the signs, multiply across by a minus, so they're all changing to negatives. 10x cubed minus 10x cubed is 0. Next one I have 21ax squared minus 20ax squared leaves me with 1ax squared, or just ax squared. The next step, 20abx minus 10a squared x, so they're different. So just going to come back over to my rough work section. So basically that's asking me to go 20 abx minus 10 a squared x. That's what it's asking me to do. I'm going to factorize out that x. So that leaves me with 20 ab minus 10 a squared all multiplied by x. So I'm just factorizing out that x. Now don't go taking away the 10 from the 20 because they're not the same. One has an ab and the other one is stuck to an a squared. So that's giving me positive bracket 20ab minus 10a squared all times x. Now I'm going to bring down my constant which is a positive 25a. And I'm going to divide again. x squared divides into 1ax squared 1a time. So I'm going to put a plus 1a up here. So the x squared divides into x squared once. I'm going to multiply that down. 1a by x squared is 1ax squared. 1a multiplied by 2ax is positive. 2a by a is a squared and multiplied by x looking like that. And 1a multiplied by a squared is a positive uh, a cubed. 1a cubed if you want to call it that. Now I'll change my signs. Minus, minus, minus. Cancel out 1a x squared minus 1ax squared. Now I have, what have we got here? We have 20ab minus 10a squared x subtract 2a squared x. So there's an x common to all three, so I'm going to put that in a combined bracket. So 20ab minus 10a squared minus 2a squared all times x. Now, if you have the x stuck to each of those individually, that's fine, but I'm just factorizing out that x. You can see here now that minus 10a squared minus 2a squared will give me minus 12a squared. So this is the same as 20ab minus 12a squared, all times x. So 
coming back over now to my question and I'm going to write this as 20ab minus 12a squared all times x. Now I'm coming to my constants and what do I have? I have a positive uh, 25a minus a cubed. If you want you can factorize out an a there so that's the same as 25a sorry 25 I should say let's just get the rubber 25 uh, minus a squared all times a that's the same thing and I'm going to just put back in my 20ab minus 12a squared and that's it that's our long division done but we now know that this should be zero because it tells us it's a factor so we must have remainder zero so I'm now going to come down and evaluate that so therefore I now have 20ab minus 12a squared all times x plus 25 minus a squared all times a equal to zero because that's my remainder zero I'm going to bring in a placeholder I'm going to call that 0x plus zero because now I have my variable x equals to my x and then I'll have my constant here equal to my constant here so that's why I'm bringing in that 0x um, as well so I'll just get rid of my rubbers here and we'll get evaluating that now so matching up the x's so let's start with the x's what do we have we have 20 a b minus 12a squared times x is equal to 0x so that's what I have on my x's and then on my constants I have 25 minus a squared all times a is equal to 0 so now we just basically have to solve for a and b so let's see what we have so on the left here I can already cancel out those x's because they're common to both sides so I have 20 a b minus 12a squared is equal to 0. A bit difficult to solve for that because I've made two variables a and b. Let's come over to the one on the right, the constants. Uh, 25 is the same as 5 squared, so I'm going to change that 25 to 5 squared minus a squared times a is equal to 0. Hopefully you can spot now that that's the difference of two squares, so that's the same as 5 minus a times 5 uh, plus a. So I'm using my difference of two squares there to change that around so that is going to give me 5 plus a and don't forget then this a here so I need to multiply by that a and again that's all equal to 0 now I'm basically just going to solve for a so I'm going to do it out three times here so what do I have I have 5 minus a is equal to 0 I have 5 plus a is equal to 0 and then I have a is equal to 0 so I have three equations here so if I tidy this up I get minus a is equal to minus 5 so a is equal to 5 and I also have a is equal to negative 5 and a is equal to 0 so there's three possible solutions for uh, a and I'm just scrolling back up here to the top because at the, the question it says where a and b are non-zero constants so I'm going to eliminate the zero there but it says the possible values for a and b which means there could be more than one value for a and more than one value for b which I've just found that there are so we're going to eliminate the zero though because we don't want um, zeros as constants it says so therefore I'm going to write my answers over here so far I have a as 5 and minus 5 I'm now going to come over and solve for my b so over here I'm now going to solve for b so I'm going to substitute that uh, a in twice because I have two values for a. So I'm going to do that twice. 20 times a times b minus 12 times a squared is equal to 0. And then I'm going to do that again because this on one of them I'm subbing in 5 for a. And on my second attempt I'm subbing in minus 5 for a. Which is going to give me minus 5 minus 5. So working these out, 20 times 5 is 100b, uh, 12 times 5 squared, 5 squared is 25, 12, 25, 300, so minus 300 equals to 0. Tidying that up gives me 100b is equal to positive 300, so b is equal to 300 over 100, which is 3 for b, 
And on my second one, I have 20 by minus 5 is minus 100b. Sorry, that's a minus 100, not a 2. So minus 100b. Minus 12 by positive 25 is giving me um, minus 300 equals 0. That gives me minus 100b is equal to positive 300. Dividing across by negative 100 gives me a possible solution of minus 3 for b. So my final solutions, b is equal to 3 and negative 3. And that's our solution. Find all the possible values for A and B.